Hey guys, Bubs here. I'm going to show you today how to replace the keyway in the Coleman CK100S and also change the brake pads because this cart, the kids rode it, didn't know what they was doing, matched the brakes and the gas at the same time, wore the pads out enough to sling a pad out and kept riding. So maybe some repairs there. But the uh, lock collar also came off the axle where the sprocket is and let the sprocket slide over and let the keyway fall out. So there was no pulling power. So stay tuned. All right guys, you can see here, uh, I have this one from the stock at the shop. But there's supposed to be a lock collar just like this on the axle. Sprocket goes on with a keyway down here. And then your collar holds the sprocket from sliding over. And your wheel goes on with a keyway. And then your nut goes on to hold your wheel on. So this collar had fell off. Letting the sprocket slide over just enough for the keyway to fall out. And stop pulling. So we're going to replace the keyways and put a new collar on but first we gotta take a trip to Ace to pick up some parts you gotta take your time think about what yours are mine you need to all right we made it back from Ace and we got some new keyways one is a little bit longer than the other so we got one right here it goes for your sprocket it'll go in then your sprocket slides on like that then you'll have your lock collar That'll go on to hold your sprocket from sliding off. Lock collar goes on. Snug it up to your sprocket so it can't slide. The one that we chose has Allen wrenches. Allen head bolts. Tighten it down. You'll know, put your keyway in for your drive wheel. Put your drive wheel back on with your nut. Castle nut here, and don't forget to put a new cotter pin in. And then put your chain back on, master link, your chain cover, and your drive wheel is done. It's ready to ride. Then we want to step over there and show you how to replace the brake shoes. Alright, over here on the brakes, we got two bolts right here I believe they're 10 millimeter holds the caliper on and it should come off and then your brake pad should slide out of it let's get that off and we'll look at it and see what we got alright guys if you can see the calipers pushed way out and ground down at an angle so I'm gonna see if I can get the plunger out of here and it was actually missing one of the brake shoes it had one and the other one was gone so the plunger was actually rubbing on the disc which didn't eat into it too bad but definitely needs another brake shoe so uh, let's get this pulled apart and see what we can find out
All right, I've got the edges cleaned up. There was metal all in here where it ground it and rolled it over. I cleaned it up and it's shortened the uh, plunger a little bit. But I found that this will fit right inside. You can see how much it shortened it. I looked up the specs and got the measurement on how long it's supposed to be. And an actual uh, socket will go in there until I can find a place to order a new plunger from. Or a new caliper, all the new caliper. But I think this will work for now. Gives it the right length. And we'll put it back in the caliper. Put the new brake shoes here. New set of shoes on it. Bleed the brakes and see if it works. They make us think that we got a choice. They let us choose someone else's voice. Try to blind a fool with a smoke screen. Pretty soon you're gonna get seen. You got a lot of trouble on your back foot. So you're calling on your brothers, come and take a look. You got a grip that you can release. And you're killing lots of people in the name of peace. I think your views are a bit conceited. You're messing around with guns till they really need it. You're looking back, but you're never gonna see it. You try your best, but you're never gonna beat it. They're looking down, but they're never gonna feel it. You wonder why, cause they never did explain that you got a lot of money in your black book. So you're calling on your dealer for a quick hook. He's got a grip that he won't release, and he's killing lots of people, may they rest in peace. I think your views are a bit conceited. You're messing up with drugs till they're real, you need it. got the caliper on. I'm going to take the brake fluid, fill up the uh, reservoir up there, pump it up, and hold pressure on the pedal, crack the bleeder, see if I can get all the air out of the system. Pump it back up, hold the pedal, crack the bleeder, see if I can get more air out of the system until the pedal stiffens up. All right, she's ready. She's back together. Brakes are working. Got the chain guard on. Take her for a little rip. 
and uh, make sure everything's working. Took her for a little rip. She's doing awesome. Kids are gonna love it. I'm gonna spray her down, get her cleaned up, and get her back to the customer. So until next time, y'all be safe and don't forget to subscribe and like the video, share it with your friends. Somebody might have the same issue. Y'all be safe.